A mammogram is an x-ray of the breast that we use to look for anything abnormal in the breast. And of course, the number one thing that we want to look out for would be a cancer. Here are six things you need to know about mammograms. Hi, my name is Dr. Tasha and I'm a breast surgeon. Number six, is having a mammogram safe? Actually, mammograms are very safe. In fact, the amount of radiation used to take a mammogram is less than that needed to take a chest X-ray. The amount of radiation is equivalent to a few long haul flights. Number five, does getting a mammogram cause cancer? Mammograms are actually very safe. According to Public Health England, the risk of a cancer caused by radiation is between one in 49,000 to one in 98,000 per visit. In the NHS breast screening program, it is estimated that for every cancer that is caused by radiation, we detect about 400 to 800 extra cancers. Studies have shown that the benefits of having a mammogram outweigh the risks of radiation exposure for most women. In fact, having a mammogram is the single most effective way of detecting breast cancer early. Number four, who can have it? Well, Mammograms are usually done on those over the ages of 40 years old. The reason for this is young people's breasts are quite dense, and so mammograms are actually not particularly helpful in picking up abnormalities in dense breasts. If we find something abnormal in a young person, either with clinical examination or an ultrasound scan, then we would proceed to do a mammogram. But it's not uncommon that even with a mammogram, we still can't see what we can see on an ultrasound scan, for example. And if this is the case, we would go on and proceed to do an MRI scan instead. Number three, what happens when I have a mammogram? So you will need to get undressed from the top half. Of course, your bra will need to be taken off at the same time. And the x-rays are taken of both breasts, but one at a time. So the breast will be placed on a square plate and compressed by another plate that is coming from above. This is repeated to take a picture from the side of the breast. And then the whole process is repeated on the other breast. So all in all, four x-rays or four pictures are taken. We take a picture of the breast in two views. That is CC view or craniocaudal, which is looking from top going down and the MLO view, which is mediolateral oblique, which takes it from the side. And the reason is so that we can get a good representation of a 3D structure so that we can accurately assess the breast. Radiographers are those who take the mammograms for you and a radiologist is the doctor who will interpret and read the mammograms. Number two, does it hurt? Mammograms can be a little bit uncomfortable, but the whole process is so fast that the discomfort is soon over and only rarely is it painful. How you feel may also depend on how sensitive your breasts are at the time and how much your breasts need to be compressed to get a good mammogram picture. And number one, what if they find something abnormal? Well, if there is something abnormal seen on the mammogram, the first thing to say is that it doesn't automatically mean it is a cancer. To find out what it is, we will need to take a sample of the breast tissue or what we also call a biopsy. To make that easier, we would normally do an ultrasound scan first to see if we can find or see that abnormal area on ultrasound scan and we can do the biopsy that way. Otherwise, if we can't do that or we can't see it on ultrasound scan, then we will have to do it with the help of the mammogram machine. The biopsy is done with local anesthetic to numb the area and the sample is then sent to the lab for analysis by a pathologist. It normally takes about a week, sometimes longer, to get the results back. In the UK, women are invited to have screening mammograms from the ages of between 47 and 50, all the way to 70 to 73 years old, and it is done every three years. The aim of this is to detect cancers early so that we can treat them sooner. The most important thing though, is to be breast aware and to make sure you examine your breasts regularly. I have made a video about this and I will leave the link of the video down below. In the meantime, take care and I will see you in the next video.